Hey guys, welcome. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about uh, travel videos, digital nomad lifestyle while me being in Bali. Now, today's video is a question from one of the viewer about the Airbnb cost and accommodation cost in Bali. Let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Do consider subscribing if you want more travel videos. Now, currently I'm in the Bali. I'll show you how it actually looks like. It's raining right now. So. You can see it's raining right now it's kind of like a weather is here cloudy very cloudy and it's morning here and it's raining very much it's a rainy season it's a december first of the december so let's talk about the accommodation cost because that's the most important question that i got from you guys about how much does it cost to stay in bali now, if you're going with the Airbnb, depending on wherever you're going, the Bali, Indonesia itself, it's so big. If you are in Ubud, if you are in Kuda, if you are in Chenggu, if you are in Ulvatu, if you are in Amid, or if you are in any other part of the Bali, the accommodation cost, the Airbnb cost, or the place where you're going to stay will going to vary. And also what kind of stuff you're going for, whether you're going for villa, whether you're going for one room, whether you're going with one room with a kitchen, whether you're going with a hostel, like what exactly you're going for, the cost will going to vary a lot. And also depending on the season, which time of the year are you traveling? Are you traveling in the peak season from June and July to September till October? Or are you traveling in the rainy season when it's from December or January or February or March when you're traveling. It depends a lot on the season. If it's a high tourist season, the prices are pretty high. If it's a low touristy season, if it's a rainy season, then the prices are pretty low. And also where you are going to stay, which part of the Bali, whether it's Ubud, Kura, Chengu, and also are you gonna stay in the city center or are you gonna stay uh, away from the city center? All the prices, all the things will going to vary a lot. But I can tell you based on my own experience, uh, when I started uh, traveling and when I came to the Bali, I lived in the Ubud more in comparison to the Kuda, Chengu, Uluwatu or Amit. So I'm going to share more experience with the Ubud. But if you're going with the Kuda or Chengu or any other place in Bali, your experience may be different. So in the beginning, I came in the June. I was staying in the outside of the city center, like five or six kilometers away from the city center. Now you guys can hear the rain sound because it's really raining heavily over here right now. But uh, I was five kilometers away from the city center. It was in the early June. The prices were not that high. It was low. But I was having a one uh, bedroom with the aircon, air con with the separate kitchen and all that facility so it was costing me around uh, 200 i think it was costing me around 300 dollar a month okay 300 us dollar a month i booked it on the airbnb and that was the price a five kilometer away from the city center and then i moved to the city center in the late june and from the late june till now i'm in the city center only but i have changed the places a lot I, in between I go to the homestays, in between I go to the homestays where I was having a shared kitchen. Then I move to the hostels as well. Now I move again back to the homestays with the kitchen. So the prices varies a lot and also I've seen the prices vary according to the peak season. Because from July till October it's a very very peak season in Bali and the prices go pretty high. So I can say in the early June I was staying outside the city center of 5 to 7 kilometer and I was paying around $300 a month for Airbnb, a one bedroom with aircon, with a separate kitchen, with all the basic facilities like water, toiletries and all that stuff. Then I moved to a different place which was around $200 a month. It was in the city center but it was a shared kitchen. I wasn't having a private separate kitchen. Uh, but I was still getting the other facilities, but there was no air con, okay? And then I moved to the hostel for a bit just to get the experience of the hostels because I never stayed at the hostel, so I don't know what it looked like. And it's pretty safe to stay and live in the hostels here in Bali. It's safe, especially I'm talking about the Ubud. Whether you're going with the mixed hostels or girls hostel or men hostel, whatever it is, okay? It's safe and I just oh, stayed there for a while to get the different kind of experience of the hostels. Now if you're going to the hostels with the aircon, without aircon, uh, whether you are getting all the basic facility like tea, coffee, with the breakfast and uh, with other things, the price will be too varying. And I 
I forgot to mention you guys, the Airbnb which I was staying in the beginning of my stay in the Bali was without breakfast and after that also without breakfast but when I moved to the hostel it was with a breakfast so I was paying around somewhat like um, how much was for per day uh, it was around six dollar a day six or seven dollar a day for a night for in the hostel with all the basic facility, the breakfast, the tea, coffee, water, hot shower, uh, aircon, all the stuff in the mixed bed. If you're going with the female bed with a four bed, then prices could be $7 or $8. Again, it varies a lot depending on the hostel where it's in the city center. I was in the city center. If it's away from the city center, what are the facilities they're offering? where you're staying it varies a lot but these are the prices that i have paid so i could tell you based on my own experience if you're going with the airbnb with just one bedroom with the aircon uh, with a washroom separate with all that basic facility not a kitchen that you might pay from 200 to 3 dollar 200 to 300 dollar a month depending on whichever season you're traveling whether you're traveling in the season of the peak season or whether you're traveling in the off season in the rainy season and also whether you're staying in the city center or away from the city center where in Ubud, Kuda or Chengdu the prices are so much different. In the Kuda I think that it's cheaper than the Ubud. Uh, in the Amit and Ulvatu it's costly so it does in the Chengdu so the price will going to vary a lot. So I can say from 200 to 300 dollar a month with the one bedroom uh, with the aircon with a separate uh, washroom or bathroom whatever you call it. If you are having a kitchen whether it's a shared kitchen or a private kitchen, things will be going to vary. So it could be around $400 a month with the private kitchen or with the shared kitchen, it could be $350 or something like that. If you're going with the hostels, again, it's the aircon hostel, mixed bed, how many beds are there, if the hot shower is there, the breakfast is there, all those things are included or not. Depending on that, you're gonna pay six to $10 a day or a night for the hostel. Uh, somewhere I've seen also the $4, but I'm not sure. I never stayed at those hostels. I'm not sure whether they are really safe or they're really nice or not. I'm not sure about it. But the 6 to $10, that's what I've paid in between just to get the experience of living in the hostel. Because I've never been in the hostel and I want to have a different experiences because homestays and hotels have a different experience in comparison to the hostels. In hostel, it's more kind of like more social in comparison to the homestays. Now, if you're going for the villas, <laughs> okay, Villas are really expensive. So if you're going for the particular the villas and modern villas, wherever it is, depending on what kind of facilities are, you might pay from four hundred dollar to even thousand dollar a month or even more than that. It varies a lot. So depending on your budget, which time of the year you're traveling, where you're gonna stay, away from the city center, in the city center, what are your needs? One bedroom, one washroom, or you want a kitchen, shared kitchen, private kitchen, or you wanna stay in the hostels. The price will going to vary a lot but these are the prices that i can tell you based on my own experience now everyone would be having a different experience so they're going to share a different prices with you but you can get an average and estimate and then you can decide your travel according to it so 200 to 300 dollar for one bedroom with a washroom in the city center in the abode uh, I'm talking about the basic facilities, uh, water, toiletries and all that without breakfast. With breakfast it's more. Uh, if you're staying in the, uh, having a kitchen, private kitchen, shared kitchen, shared kitchen could be $350 or so, private kitchen could be $400 to $500 a month. If you're staying in the hostel, it got from $6 to $10. You can also see the hostels from $4 a night as well. So it depends. If you're going with the villas, it could range from $500 to $1,000 or even more than that a month. So these are the roughly the prices of where you could stay. The Airbnbs, you can check on the Airbnb booking.com. For the hostels, I would refer you to go to the hostelworld.com. You can also check the Agora. You can also check the different websites out there in the online space, which is offering the villas and homestays and hotels. Hotels prices vary a lot. You can see... Um, 20 or 30 dollar a night to 100 dollar a night it varies a lot but these are the steps if you're staying at the homestays villas hostels hotels homestays wherever you're staying the prices are different so this is the price list of how much you could expect to pay 
while staying in the valley depending on wherever you're going to stay what season what time of the year what you really need and all that stuff hopefully you find this video useful do let me know in the comment section below about your own experience if you'd stay in the valley and if you have a different experience than me please let me know in the comment section below because it will going to help me as well and plus help other people as well who are going to read your comments and if you have any more questions about the airbnb accommodation or anything related to traveling do let me know in the comment section below i can make a separate entire video on that topic but that's it for this video i'll see you the next time with a new amazing topic till then take care bye guys